Hi there, it's Rob from Auburn Amplifiers uh, in Walter the Car to talk today about standby switches in two guitar amplifiers. Now, some guitar amps have standby switches, some don't, and a lot of the ones that have them don't really need them. But if yours does, let's talk about the correct way to use it. Okay, when you first approach your amp, this is how the switches should look, with the power off and the standby in its normal play mode. I'll tell you why in a moment, uh, but for now we'll just describe your turn-on procedure. You put the amp on standby, you turn the power on, and give the tubes about 20 seconds to warm up. This amp was played just recently, so the tubes are still pretty warm. So, uh, it's a save time, I'm just going to put it in play mode now, and we're good to go. When you're finished playing, you leave the standby switch alone, just turn the power off. Okay, now why would we do it that way? When you turn on power, what you're doing is applying voltage to the filaments of the tubes. Now they take about 20 seconds to warm up, and the standby switch actually controls the high voltage that goes to the plates of the tubes. Now, some say, and there's some truth to this, that it's better for the tubes if the filaments have a chance to warm up before you apply the plate voltage. Now, if your amp has a tube rectifier, especially a GZ34 5AR4, then the warm-up time for that tube rectifier is roughly the same as the rest of the tubes. They can all come on at the same time, and uh, there's really no risk of harm being done to the tubes. Uh, however, it, with amps with a solid-state rectifier, uh, it might be better to let the filaments warm up for about 20 seconds before you hit them with the high voltage on the plates. It's certainly not going to do any harm. So, that's the reason for this procedure. So, again, when you come to your amp, it looks like this. Power is off. Standby is in normal. You put it in standby. You hit the power. Let the tubes warm up. Boom! You're ready to play. When you're finished, you turn the power off. And what that does is allows the high voltage to drain out of the electrolytic capacitors. Now, some amps contain a bleeding resistor that will do that for you anyway, but a lot of older ones don't. And it can be a safety hazard if you're doing tests on an amp, you're taking the chassis in and out. Uh, it's surprising how long those electrolytics can hang on to uh, a voltage that can either hurt you or at least alarm you enough to make you dr drop the chassis or do something uh, dangerous. So, uh, the idea of uh, draining the high voltage first uh, by leaving the amp in play mode is a good one. So that's my take on the correct way to use a standby switch in a tube guitar amp. If you've got uh, something to add to the discussion, uh, feel free to mention it in the comments below. I like a good dialogue. So, uh, for now, this is Rob from Auburn Amps and Walter the Car wishing you a day full of music.